Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go over how to underline just a portion of your text. So it's pretty simple and straightforward to underline all of your text like this. However, if we wanted just a single word underline that's in the middle of your text, that gets a little more complicated. And this is the best way that I figured out how. It seems like the traditional methods of underlining text in Python don't work when we're creating a PDF. What we're going to want to do is install Pillow if you haven't already. And then from Pill, notice it's all capitals, import image font. We're going to create this function here, get text width. We're going to pass in the actual text and then the font. I'll show you that in just a second. And then we're returning font.getMask text string dot get bbox two divided by 2.6. So what this does is returns the width of the bbox. I'll provide a link to this documentation here if you're curious. I'm dividing by 2.6 because that seems to work. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, when we're using times font, 2.6 works. When we're using Arial, I think this might actually be A. Three seems to work. I don't know why, but it works. So thumbs up. You might have to play with these numbers a little bit yourself just to get it just right. All right, then we create our PDF object at our page. Here is our font that we're using up in here. From image font, we're going to use true type, pass in the font that we want and the size. So this font here is just simply so that we can measure the length of our string. Right here, we're setting our font in our PDF. Sadly, we have to break our string into different sections in order for this to work. We're going to need three sections, one for everything before the underline, a section for the underlined string, and a section after the underlined string. For the first section, we set our font. It's not underlined. We say what our string is going to be, and then we create our cell. We want the cell width to be the width of that first string here. We're passing in font so that we know that we're using times and the size of the font, because that matters. And then the height, 10, pass in our string. We're going to set line is equal to false. This should be default, but I want it to be explicit that we don't want to move to the next line. For the second section, this is the underlined section. So we're actually going to set our font now to be underlined. We're going to create our second section string and then pass all of that information into our function, get text width so that we have the width of our text as the cell width, and then text string two. And then for our third section, we're going to set the font to not have underline and add our string, create our cell. Let's run that really quick. We'll refresh this and this is what we get. We can change our text up a little bit, say hello world, this is me. Don't be a fool. Run that, refresh, and everything works out.